Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and we're still checking out MXXX. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up multi-band processing. There are two different ways to do it inside of here and I'm gonna show you both ways right now and talk a little bit about why you might choose one over the other. So the first way is to do it inside of the module itself and that's by using the crossover module. So come in, click right here and let's find crossover by using the search. So here it is under building blocks, crossover. And if you right click, you'll choose the number of outputs. So if I want three, four, five, or six bands, I just choose that from the output right here. So let's say I want three bands. You'll see that it's now outputting to three different bands or three different outputs. If I go two, it's gonna go two. If I go six, it's gonna use up this whole uh, array of outputs down there. I'm gonna go three for now, hit okay. And now we just add our effects to these outputs. So if I wanna go, you know, compressor for the lower band and then maybe a flanger for the second and then maybe some reverb for the last one, you'll see that the routing is already taken care of out here. Now, we have to come in and actually choose the bands down here. So if I click and drag over, now we'll have the range of each one of the bands by coming in right here. So that's all well and good, but if you're getting some really complicated effects programs inside of the module control over here, and you really don't want to take up all your room using the crossover module, maybe you've got you know something super complicated, you can actually set this up over here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and reset everything. So I'm gonna hold down Alt and just click out of here and get rid of all these. Boom, back to normal. And the way we can do it is using this menu up here. And if you don't see that, you just gotta click the crossover module uh, panel right here and that's will show up. So if I right click, I'll get my band configuration. And I can either insert one or at a time, or I can actually just come down here and choose default. So if I hit three, it will give me a warning. We'll just say yes, and boom. Now I have the three bands right up here and they're color coded. You'll see that band one, that means that this module control is just for this band. This one's just for this band. You'll see band two and it's green. So if I come over here and just put something in here, let's put in, um, let's see, a convolution reverb unit. Let's choose chamber, captain chamber is fine. And so this is just affecting the middle band right here. And again, we can obviously come in and choose where those beginning and end frequencies are for each one of the band. We've got our mute and solo buttons. And, but watch what happens if I go to this one now. It's a completely new modulator because it's completely independent from the other one. So if I click here and again, come in and maybe put auto pan on it. Let's slow that down. It's going a little bit too fast. So as you can see, you can get quite creative with this control as well. So that's two different ways of setting up multiband processing inside of MXXX. Go forth and do with it what you will. And I will see you in the next video tutorial.